When it comes to choosing a transmission protocol, you have all options open, because Dixie 4 supports all the commonly used protocol standards, and of course the very latest standard IEC 61850, in conjunction with Ethernet. This huge diversity means that problem-free data exchange is possible with both existing and future systems. Plug-in boards provide sufficient flexibility for the communication with an automation system. A multitude of CProtec 4 communication modules are available for you to choose from. They come in various optical and electrical versions and are therefore almost always compatible to the individual system configuration. With this and in conjunction with different converters, you yourself define what your communication connections should look like whether wire connection, fiber optic or even communication network. With SuperTech 4 you send your data safely from A to B and back again. As soon as two or more devices communicate with each other, a common time base is indispensable. This is the prerequisite so that events can be correctly assigned and sorted according to their timely occurrence. CProtec 4 devices support different types of time synchronization for this. With Dixie 4 you select and parameterize the procedure appropriate for your application. Suitable to the installed communications module, Dixie 4 already makes a pre-selection. For an Ethernet module for example, you will also find the network time protocol, short NTP, in the selection list. This, by the way, is the only allowed time synchronization procedure if you use the IEC 61850 standard. With the rest of the parameters, you adapt the selected procedure to your requirements. The Dixie Help gives you more information on time synchronization. Let us now demonstrate the numerous communication options available to you with a few examples. In the most elementary case, a CProtec 4 device is connected directly to a PC. You may also do this for example from your office using a telephone connection in combination with a modem. If you wish to communicate with a number of CProtec 4 devices, you connect these with an RS485 bus. Alternatively, use a star coupler for this purpose. Of course, a CPROTEC 3 device or a device from the 600 series can also be integrated in this communication structure. And, thanks to Profibus DP and IEC 6870-5-103, it's also possible to connect a substation automation system, for example, CCAM. Communication via Ethernet with CPROTEC 4 devices version 4.6 and higher, and you're in business. Equipped with the new Ethernet interface EN100 and the latest Dixie 4 version, directly connecting your PC with a protection device is now as easy as 123. Just specify an IP address in the device properties, select the usual method of establishing a connection, and before you know it, you're already communicating over a direct Ethernet connection. By using a switch, you can even communicate with several devices alternatively via one and the same PC, for example also with your office computer that is integrated in your existing network. We saved the best for last. You communicate via Ethernet in conjunction with IEC 61850, putting you at the cutting edge of communication. As an example, you see a ring structure with two switches for the connection of PC and station automation. Optical EN100 modules with switch functionality are installed in the CPROTEC 4 devices. This saves you external switches for the individual devices. You'll find out more about Ethernet and IEC 61850 in the next films.